Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Healthy Soils Week. My name is Luis Alvarez. I am a soil scientist for the Natural Resources Conservation Service. And today we're out here at the beautiful Plant Material Center in Lockport, California to tell you all about this newly acquired tool that we got in California called the Soil Tunnel. So for those of you who don't know what a soil tunnel is, it's a tool designed to teach anyone from little kids to grown-ups about basic soils, the importance of soils, and of course, soil health and it's designed to do it in a way that is more interactive and fun. So this tool can be set up anywhere, on any workshops, you can do it at farm uh, conferences, you can do it at county fairs, any, anywhere you want it. So when we look at the tunnel, the first thing we see, that beautiful arc portraits a soil profile. Starting from the top, you have your grasses, your roots, and as you move down, you have the subsoil, and then down to the bottom, we have what we call our party material or our bedrock. So but how about you come follow me, I will show you what's all the stuff that we had to discover inside the tunnel. First thing we see is this beautiful image of the soil biology, or what we call the soil food web, which is no other thing than a community of organisms that live in the soil. Something interesting, have you ever heard any the terms of or, like organic matter and nutrient cycling? These creatures right here are the ones that take care of that. So if you follow me, as we move through this side over here of the tunnel, this part talks about the soil physical properties and the soil chemistry. So the first thing that we see about soil physical properties is of course one of the most common one, which is soil structure. It goes from granular to blocky to prismatic structure. One uh, fun fact about structure is that it's a dynamic property. What that means is that it could be manipulated with management. On the contrary, another uh, physical property is soil texture. And we can see here the texture triangle it shows all the different triangles that there is for, for um, mineral soils, but that one is not, it's not a dynamic soil property. It cannot be manipulated. Another soil property that is not mentioned here, but you can see it in the background, is soil color. So the, uh, the color is one of the, one of the most common uh, soil properties. We, can, we see it everywhere. We all have seen different, different colors from red, black, brown. So what gives the, the, color, the soil the color is the weathering of, mat of minerals and materials like iron, manganese, and organic matter. So as we walk this way, these panels here talk about soil chemistry, another big important factor in soils. So we have the nitrogen cycle, the carbon cycle, and of course, soil pH and salinization, two things that are so critical in our farming industry here in California. So we walk outside, this part right here, this panel, talks what is soil, right? Everything about soil. The first thing we see is this amazing pie chart that touch what soils is, uh, um, the soil composition. So we have 45% mineral, air, water, and organic matter. That's, those four things is what makes soils. And then down at the bottom, we have those five key factors, the soil forming factors. These five factors, organisms, climate, party material, topography and time, simultaneously, it gives us what we call soil. And it takes thousands of years to soil, to, for soil to form, but it happens by these five factors occurring simultaneously. And as we can see here, this wonderful arch, what it represents is a soil profile. As you can see from the top, we got our topsoil, our grasses, and then we move down to the subsoil, down to the bottom, where's the party material or, bed, or, or the bedrock. Follow me this way. What we have here, the last panel of a soil tunnel, it talks about why soils are important. First one, of course, food production, right? Without soil, we wouldn't be able to grow our food, our crops. Water purification, so important. Medication, and of course, as I mentioned at the beginning, this tool is intended to teach people about soil health. So of course we had to include the soil health uh, principles. Keep the soil cover, minimize soil disturbance, keep the living roof in the soil, and diversify plant species. Okay, there you have it. Uh, thank you for joining me in this walk. If you're interested to learn more about the soil tunnel or a ways to reserve it, to use it in a local county event, please feel free to contact your, our local uh, NRCS service center. I will be happy to help you. And once again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful Healthy Souls week.